Hi everyone and welcome to our little practice today of our yoga challenge. So today I'm going to show you an adaptation of a very very common yoga pose called Warrior One and I really like this variation for those with scoliosis. Good, so let's come to our mat. That's the most important part of the practice, of course. So we're going to start with the left foot forwards and the right foot back. And this is a little bit of a bigger stance than what we've done on day one. So a little bit wider than that. And again, alignment is key here. So you want to start to bring the pelvis again to face forwards. Noticing if you're if this side is really in your curve pattern or out of your curve pattern. So for me, for my left lumbar curve, this is nice here on this side because it's lengthening my right side. But this might be different for you. So let's bring the hands onto the tops of the hips and we're gonna lengthen, actively lengthen out of the waist, lengthening the waist. And then we're gonna bend the, the front knee until the knee is directly over the ankle. So from here, you can see I already came a little bit forwards because we're not gonna do the traditional warrior one where we're upright and where we've got much more of a bend in um, the lower back. Now with scoliosis, we always want to promote length. So let's try this variation today where we're slightly coming forwards so that we can lengthen both the front and the back of the body. And you can either keep your hands here and just work on the al alignment, breathe, of course. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, adding some leverage, you can reach the arms forwards. And if your shoulders are happy with this, you can take the arms alongside the ears, lengthening here. You'll feel the whole body working and see if it can really press down through the outer edge of the back foot but keeping the hips nice and level here. Long breath. Good, I'm gonna take one more breath here. And then slowly release, changing sides. Right foot forwards, left foot back. Again, you know this is going to be a different experience in these asymmetric poses. So we, again, we want to make sure the hips are facing forwards. We want to lengthen out of the waist, bending the front knee, coming forward slightly. So again, this is nice to lengthen the front, both the front and the back of the body. And then decide where you want to bring your arms. Maybe you reach the arms forwards or bringing the arms up over the head, which resembles a little bit more the traditional warrior one pose see if you can press through the back foot really keeping the legs engaged and breathing good let's take one more long breath and then slowly release and give everything a little shake and again because we've done this asymmetric pose we're going to come back into mountain pose, staying, standing strong, stable, making sure that the right foot is doing the same as the left foot, that the hips are not rotated, but the level, maybe if one hip comes out, see if you can bring it back in, lengthening, noticing what's going on around the shoulders. There's one shoulder rolling forwards a bit more. Maybe we can create a little bit more space at the front. Good, and then release. Good, thank you so much for practicing with me and I will see you for the next practice tomorrow.